Hi artists and welcome to Unwind and Design. My name is Kimberly and I'm your instructor for today. So starting with what we have in front of us, we have an 11 by 14 uh, size canvas. We have it laid out long ways. Next, we have a pencil. We have our fan, or if you have a plug-in nearby, a hair dryer. This painting will be done in layers. So um, you do need to dry the, the, the first layer before we move on to the second and third layer and so on. Next, we have our towel so that we can dry our brushes, our water container for our brushes. Bring this a little bit that way. Um, and we have our brushes. So our brushes are our large background brush. Okay, it's gonna be for the background. Next, we have our square brush our round tip brush that comes to a point, and our detail brush for outlines or minor details. So starting off, we are gonna be using our pencil. Um, the colors we're gonna be having also are going to be blue, white, black, yellow, and green. And again, remember to add a good amount of water to your paint with your brush and make sure that it's really mixed in well. Um, if you get it too thick, you're going to waste a lot of paint, you're going to struggle, and you're going to get frustrated. If you add too much water, it's going to splatter all over the place. It's going to be a little bit lighter. The color is not going to be so rich, and it's going to be kind of see-through, and you're going to struggle with it as well. So make sure that your water is really well combined in your paint and that um, it's not too watery or too thick. You want it to be right in the middle, and you want it to spread like sour cream, nice and soft, okay? We don't want a puddle and we don't want the toothpaste feeling. We want it nice and creamy. Okay, so when I paint or I add my water, I like to add uh, my water to the edges of my paint in case I want to use more of that paint later. I don't contaminate all of it. Okay, so that's just a little tip. We're going to be starting off first with our pencil. So we are going to be starting first with the center of our ladybug. We're going to go right towards the middle and we're going to do our, not our ladybug, our butterfly. We're going to go right across the middle and we're going to stick to the bottom half of the painting. So right in the middle and then cut your canvas in half again. So right in the center below that half is where we're going to start the bottom of our butterfly. Okay, so we're going to start with a little arch. We're going to start to make a shape kind of like the shape of a carrot. Okay, so we're bringing that straight down. And there we go. It's just going to be a little simple carrot shape. Okay, and here, right on the top of the sides. We're gonna start to bring our wings towards the top all the way to the end. And then from here, we're gonna bring in our bottom ones. So I'm gonna make some lines coming out of the bottom as well, so that we kind of have an idea as to how this is gonna look. And I'm gonna draw a little bit of a line across the middle. So I added two lines on top, two lines across, and two lines in the bottom. It kind of looks like it has antenna hands and feet, but no. Um, this is just kind of for us to outline the rest of it. So we're gonna start off first. On the left, we're gonna go up, and we're gonna start inclining it slightly until we reach a little bit below the corner of our left. So we're inclining it toward the left, starting to curve it slightly. Great, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. If your wings don't look perfect, that's fine. Don't stress out about that. When you go in and paint it, you'll be able to straighten out your wings a little bit more. OK. 
Okay, and we're gonna start to curve it in a little bit on the sides. See that, we're just curving it in slightly. And then right across the middle, we're gonna come in and we're gonna curve it also. So we're gonna curve it upwards. We're gonna bring it slightly out. And then once we get about maybe three fingers away from the edge, we're gonna to begin to curve it up. From here, we're gonna to begin to join these together. So we start off first with a dip, and then as we start to go down, it starts to straighten out and kind of curve out a little bit. See that? We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna curve in, and then we're gonna to start to curve out a little bit more. I'm also going to curve it down here as well so it doesn't look too straight. And then from this section, we're gonna to start to make some lines, curving our bottom section of our left wing a little bit out like this. Okay, so it is gonna be a little bit rounder. Okay, and you can make little bumps and that's where you're gonna be adding the lines when we're painting of our butterfly. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And I'm going to start to add just a couple of lines, just so that my mind has an idea as to how this is going to look. Okay, right here, we're going to have a line going completely out. Okay, and this one's gonna be kind of going in towards the center. Same thing over here, I'm just gonna come in and start to make some lines in towards the center so I kind of have an idea as to how this is gonna look as well. Moving on, we will be using our large background brush um, remember, your brush is kind of like a sponge, so whenever you dip it in there, it's going to get swollen with that water, and when you press, you're going to release all that water. So we want to make sure when we're mixing our color to squeeze all the water out of your brush, and then use your hairs to make sure that your water is really well mixed into your paint. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up some of that water. I'm going to soften up my brush so that it's ready to use. Okay, and now it's really swollen with some of that paint. And we are going to come in and we're going to begin to add that water to the side of our yellow. Okay, so I'm squeezing the water into that. I'm adding it, making sure I'm, I'm combining it well. I'm adding it to my yellow paint. And I have to make sure that it's well combined. If you see that it's too see-through and watery, pull a little bit of more paint in there. Okay, so to this, we're gonna to begin to add a little bit of green and we're gonna get a slightly lime green. Cool, so we're gonna be using two colors to do this, a lime green and the plain green. Um, we're gonna go around our butterfly and we're gonna be making little squares to do this. So we're just gonna be layering it. You can come back with a little bit of your plain green so that you have some sections that are a little bit darker. And we're just going to go ahead and outline the edges of your butterfly before you begin to do those squares. So right here, I'm outlining it slightly. 
And then I'm coming in and from that outline, I'm pulling out to my squares. And that's gonna ensure that my line stays as straight as possible and that I don't invade my butterfly so much. So let's do this. Let's move on. Let's continue to uh, move towards the right. And let's fill the background of our butterfly with this green. Okay guys, so starting off, we are gonna be using our round tip brush. And we're gonna be making three types of blue. First off, we're gonna start off with some water in our plain blue, making sure that it's nice and soft. This is not gonna be the darkest blue we use. Um, we are gonna be making it a little bit darker. Next, we have some blue with a little bit of black and white and that's gonna make our blue a little bit more gray. You see that? It's not as bright as this one. Um, it's a little bit duller. And then next, you're gonna split some of this blue to the other side, and we're only going to add some white to that. So this one's gonna be a lot brighter and lighter. So we have the bright plain blue, the blue gray, and then the blue with just white. So again, what makes the blue gray gray is the fact that we not only added white, but we also added black to it, and that made it a little bit duller. Okay, so this is our light blue, our gray blue, and our plain blue. Let me add a little bit more white to this. And I'm gonna also add a hint of black to even it out again. There we go, now it looks a little bit more gray. See the differences? Okay. Cool. So starting off, we are gonna be going back and forth between these three colors. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I add enough water to this blue. Okay, and let me zoom you in a little bit so you guys can see that a little better. Great. So working on our left wing, starting off first, we are gonna come in with that plain blue, and we're gonna start to paint the whole wing. Okay, let's start off with the top section. So let's go in, we'll paint this section first, then we'll paint the one on the right, and then we'll paint the bottom, and then the bottom again on the left, on the right. So we're gonna go right, left, right, left, top, and then the bottom. I'm sorry, left, right, I said that wrong. Left, right, left, right. Top first, then bottom. So we're coming in with that plain blue. We're starting to outline and define our butterfly. Okay, 
when you squeeze your brush along the edge, if you have enough paint, you'll start to form a straight line at the edge. Instead of having to make the line, the corner of your brush will squeeze out the paint and will give you that straight line automatically when it comes off of the side. All you have to do is just drag it. Let's go a little bit lower. And we're also going to start to define some of these bumps that we see at the end here. So I'm going to start to kind of give it some shape at the edge before I come back and I start spreading that color. Okay, so I'm bringing my color up and down. So I'm coming from the edge, bringing it down to the center. So from here, we're going to move on to our blue gray. Okay, so we are now going to be grabbing our blue gray and we're going to start to define it a little bit more. So we're coming in and we're going to start defining each of these sections a little bit. So I'm just dragging that blue gray, bringing it down. And you wanna be a little uneven with these. These don't have to be specific. These are just gonna be adding some texture, giving our butterfly some form. And these lines are all gonna be leading to the center section right here. So imagine that this is a point and just like a fan, all your lines are coming to that point right in the center. And that point would be this thick section right there. Okay, so here I'm gonna do maybe a small one, a small line, then I'm gonna continue doing this a little bit thicker. I'm gonna go a little bit higher again make them a little bit more broken, add some lines on top there. Okay, we are also gonna come in from the side and work some into this corner. Okay, so again, it's that blue, that blue gray color that we're using. Okay, next we're going to grab that lighter blue. So I'm going to wash my brush a little bit just so that I don't have a lot of that dark blue left in there. And we're going to come in here with this lighter blue. I'm going to add a little bit more white to that too. I want it to really stand out. And you know what? If we want it to look a little bit turquoise, 
are a little bit teal, we can add just a tad bit of yellow. And that'll really bring our color out. So I added just a little bit of yellow to that. That way it looks a little bit more turquoise. And I'm gonna add a little bit of more white as well. There we go. So now we have a way lighter color with a little hint of yellow. Okay, and what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use it as a highlight. We're not gonna be adding a lot of it, but we are gonna be using it as a highlight. So I'm coming in. I'm doing just one line there. Coming down here, maybe doing a couple more. And we're just pointing it all to that center section that we have there. So come back, grab a little bit more. I'm grabbing it nice and thick. I want my colors to really stand out. Okay, right here as well. And we're starting to just scratch some of that blue towards the center. These are gonna be like the highlights on the whole butterfly. Okay. And we're gonna to continue to do that all across on each of these petals. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one on the right now. Again, I'm filling it in with some of this blue. And we're gonna continue to work on this wing on the right, doing the same similar design. We'll be using our blue, our gray blue, and our light blue. I'm going to start working with my blue gray now to continue to add some highlights to that wing. Our final step will be to add our highlight so that we can complete this wing. So just like we did our left wing, we're going to begin to add that light blue or teal blue to our right wing. On the top wings, we went from the top towards the center. On the bottom wings, we're going to go from the bottom towards the top. Okay, so we're going to go in, continue to paint these blue. See, and we're bringing it to the center point from the bottom corners. Okay, 
we're going to continue to do that. We're giving it some shape on the edges. So don't forget to kind of wrinkle it up and wave it so that we can start coming up with a design for the bottom of the wing. Okay, so right now that's what you're doing. You're designing the bottom section of it. Okay, again, the center point is right here. So all our lines are gonna be fanning out from that center point all the way to the bottom. Okay, so same thing. Our lines are gonna be right here and they're gonna be being painted in this manner. Okay, as we're painting them in. So again, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my paint. Remember to come back and pick up water if your paint is a little too sticky, okay? We want it to be nice and smooth while we're painting so that we don't waste a lot of paint and so that we don't get really frustrated. Okay, so you can always go back as well. Once your paint dries, if it's not bright enough, you can come back and paint over it to add a second layer just to make sure it's bright enough. So again, I'm coming back with a little bit of that blue and we're gonna continue the same type of design that we did on top at the bottom. As we go towards the bottom, um, pay attention to the fact that we have our lines specifically coming off to the sides, making these little indentations in the bottom. It's not just straight lines all the way. We have like three or four lines coming out, and then we start to get the longer lines finishing up the rest of the butterfly. So again, we have these lines down here. One, two, three, and then four and then they start to get a little bit longer as we go along. Okay, so again, here's another one. One, two, three, and then four, and then we have the longer ones towards the top. Okay, so we gotta remember that that's what it's gonna look like. So again, we have a couple of lined up ones. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, before we begin to add our longer lines towards the center. Again, I'm using my gray blue now, then I'm gonna come in, I'm washing off my brush so that I make sure that I don't have any gray that mixes with that lighter blue that we made here. Okay, I'm gonna go in and add just a little bit more white if it gets a little dull. There we go. Gotta remember to pick up some water too. As time goes by, our paint dries, so we have to remember to come back and hydrate it again. Just like you get thirsty, your paint gets thirsty. So we're coming in and we're adding our blue around this way. Okay, and we're going to start to put our highlights so that it assists us in making it look as if the wind, the wing is a little curved. So here comes this one. This one's going to kind of work its way in a little bit. This one too, we're going to add some highlight in. We're angling this one as well. So we're angling every single dot as we go down towards that center. Here we have a highlight that's joint for both of these two lines. And we have a final highlight at the end.
But while your painting is drying, if you want to go in and add some more of a certain color back on there, you can go and add that. Right now I'm adding a little bit more of that gray as it dried, just so that it comes out a little bit more. I'm also going to go in there as this is drying and I'm going to add some highlights. I'm going to add some more of that light blue to my highlights again. Again, it doesn't have to be super covered. It doesn't have to be so precise. You can just go in and add some highlights and it'll add different dimensions to it. So I'm coming in here. So it'll add a different level, different colors. And I'm just going to loosely go over it with some more of that same light blue and I'm just going to paint over a little bit hoping that I leave a different color in there so that it looks like it has more of a variety. Moving on, we are going to continue to work with a little bit of a dark blue. And for this, we're going to need a little bit of black. This is our second step before we move on to our actual block. So we're going to be using our detail brush for this. We're going to be adding some water to our blue, making sure that it's nice and soft. Okay, and to this blue, we're going to add a drop of black. We want it to be a little bit darker, but not black completely necessarily. We do just want it to be like a darker blue, like a navy blue. Okay, that still looks really dark. Let me add a little bit more blue to that. Okay, so it is actually like a navy blue color. See that nice and dark? That's the color we're going to be using. And we're going to be starting off. at the top and working our way in. Again, remember to have plenty of water on there. We do want it to be nice and smooth as we're dragging it in. It needs to be nice and soft. So I'm adding some more water. I'm even gonna add a little bit more black so that I get a nice navy color. So what we're gonna start to do with this darker blue is we're gonna start to separate each of these highlights a little bit so they don't look like they're just on top. So we're gonna go in in some of these crevices and we're gonna to start to bring it out a little bit. So let's start off at the top. We're gonna to come in and with that dark blue, we're just going to come in and outline it slightly. Okay. It is gonna be a little bit thicker towards the top. Okay, so we're making it just a little bit bigger here. And we're gonna bring that all the way around to start off our shadows from the top towards the bottom. There we go. Here we're gonna to start to outline the design a little bit more on the outside. So here I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna add a little bit more of a bump. I'm gonna shade it in, I'm making it a little bit thicker. Okay. okay, so we're making them nice and thick on the outside. And you're going to make these curves based on the lines that you made down here. So here I have one specific dot, that one, the point seems to be going over it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint around it so that it looks like our wing specifically has that design there. Okay, let's see if you can see that a little bit better. There you go, I think you guys can see that slightly better than before. Okay. 
So then from here, we're going to start to add some of that darker blue and we're going to start to design into our wing. We're going to come in and we're going to bring a point over here. We want to start to divide the wing a little bit. Okay, so these are kind of like a darker blue outline. We want to still leave some of the original blue that we put at first, the one we painted with our background, the one we painted our background with. Okay, we're going to come into this block. Sorry if I mumble a lot. I get a lot into this pa these paintings and sometimes I think I'm saying something, but I'm so into my painting that sometimes I don't say what I think I'm going to say. So I apologize <laughs> for that ahead of time. So, <laughs> so coming in, we're going to start from the bottom also. And I'm going to start to create some lines in the crevices of some of the blue that I left there. Okay, I'm coming some more in here, adding some of that blue, creating some separations here. You see that how I'm starting to form my wing a little bit with that darker blue? Okay, so we're going in between some of those spaces to start adding some shadows. We go and we're starting to bring out our wing a little bit more, it's starting to pop out slightly. That's what we wanted. We wanted the colors to pop. And that happens when you apply a shadow right next to a very light color. It gives it more dimension. It gives it more uh, of a 3D effect. And we're going to continue to do these lines on the bottom wing as well. So I'm coming in with that dark blue. We start to bring out part of this wing. I'm going to start to give it some shape here. Okay, this line's going to be a little bit crooked coming into the side there. If you did paint it gray, you can still go in between and create some of those lines. It doesn't matter if you go over some of that gray. Just try to not go over that light blue. If you happen to go over the light blue, you can always come back and add some more, and that way um, you bring it out again. You make it stand out once more if you covered it up. So here I'm beginning to work on the outside as well. And I love the fact that when we're painting with uh, a single color that we can do so many varieties of that same color to make a, pen a painting stand out. Like here, we used a lot of different blues out of the same blue just by adding white, just by adding different percentages of white. You get a different color every time. Okay, and your lines don't have to be exactly like mine. You can, if you're getting inspired to make the lines look different, go with what you feel in your heart you need to do. I'm always encouraging you guys to let your imagination flow. So don't feel like your butterfly has to look exactly like mine. It doesn't. Your butterfly is going to be unique because it's going to be inspired by your mind by your touch by your pressure it's going to be inspired by you and that's what we want to see i'm giving you guys an outline but you guys have the right to just go and create it into what you want it to look like
can also come in with that blue and start to do some designs inside. If you want to add a little bit of shadows, you can. If you want to go over some of that darker gray, you can. It doesn't have to look exactly like how you painted it in. Okay, and we're gonna move on to our right side and continue with these textures. So moving on, we are now going to be using our detail brush again. And this time we're gonna be using our black. So what we're gonna be doing with this is we're gonna be adding a little bit more thickness to the bottom and the sides of our wings. We're gonna be filling in the center of our butterfly and we're gonna be kind of just straightening it out a little bit, okay? So we're gonna be picking up our detail brush, adding it to our black we're picking up some water making sure that we can blend that make sure that it's nice and smooth coming back with a little bit more since my little brush takes only a little bit of water i need to do a couple of scoops to soften it up there we go now it's nice and smooth and what we're going to do is we're going to come in at the end and we're going to start to straighten it out see here i went a little bit higher here mine is a little bit lower so i'm going to take advantage to bring this up a little bit more with that block just so it looks a little bit more even and that's what i mean by straightening it out we're going to be straightening out our wings make them look a little bit more even if one wing is bigger than the other 
if maybe one wing is chubbier than the other, we're going to even it out with this black. And it's also going to be the edge of our wings, just so that it stands out a little bit more. You might not be able to tell the difference, but there is going to be a difference in the amount of, in the differences between the black and that dark blue. So we're coming in. Get a little bit pointier, maybe. There we go. Again, it is a little bit thicker. On the top of the wing there. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger up here. Okay, we're starting to add that black on the edges. If you want to make it a little bit thicker, you can. The lines don't have to be super thin. You can make those edges just a little bit bigger. See that? We're going to start to outline all around our butterfly. So once we are done with our outlining of our wings, you can continue to add maybe a couple of black lines on the inside as well. Um, but we're going to begin to paint the body of our butterfly. So we're going to come in and we're going to begin to paint out that shape. Remember, like I mentioned in the beginning, it's kind of like the shape of a carrot. So we're going to come in and we're going to make that shape and fill it in with some black. Butterflies are such a beautiful thing to paint. There's so many varieties and so many ways that you can, can paint them. So if you guys are ever bored, butterflies are a really good way to put in some practice. There's a bunch of pictures on the internet I have a bunch of pictures that I took when I traveled to Colombia, and I saw so many different types of butterflies. I saw some really fluffy ones. I saw some bright orange ones that looked like they were wearing bell bottom pants. Um, they were orange with yellow. I saw all kinds of different sizes when I went over there. You know, we went to like a jungle area or the Amazon and there was so many like butterflies I had and moths I have never seen in my life. So, um, look them up, look up different varieties. And if you want to put some practice in and some paint, this would be the perfect way for you to do it. So we are coming in with our detail brush now, and we're going to start to do our antennae. So our antennae is going to go up. Okay, so a thin line going up, and it's going to start to curve out and then go up. And we're going to do that on both sides, up and then curve out and then back up. Then right on the tip, we're going to do little ovals. And there we go. We have our beautiful blue butterfly. 
This one was a lot of fun. Last thing you need is to come over here to the right and you can do it with any color. Black, blue, any color that you'd like. Just make sure that it stands out. And you're gonna go in and put your signature. 